How's it going guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros. And are you having a lot of issues with your computer? Maybe it's slowing down. Maybe you're getting a lot of blue screens. Um, just a lot of crap on your computer. Um, I have a few options for you. This is a quick video that I'm going to go over two programs that I use regularly to keep my computer up and running to the best of its ability. Roll the intro. <laughs> Okay, so there are two programs out there that I use to keep my computer up and running the best way. I'm probably going to do a separate video on uh, virus protection software, but this video in particular, I'm going to go over two programs that I use very often. So we got Slim Cleaner right here. I'm going to open it up for you all. Um, Slim Cleaner here, you can buy the full version of the free version, but I've noticed the free version seems to do like a really good job for, for what it does. So. Slim Cleaner is just like all the other ones out there. It has a cleaner, it does an optimization, it has some software, um, it just goes through and shows your CPU and RAM usage. It cleans out your browsers, defrags your disks, and your Windows tools. Um, if the pro, yep, there we go. I was gonna say, well, what do you think you're doing there? Um, so I'll go through each of this real quick. So the cleaner, you just an overall cleaner, It'll clean off the log files, memory dump files, recycling bin, every folder. Windows history and all the utility stuff that's not needed. You can schedule this to do this whenever you want and once you do that it'll go through at a certain time, run the scanner and bam you have a cleaner computer. The main reason I got this program was I was having a lot of issues with blue screens of death. It was kind of weird. I kept crashing and was having a lot of issues. I'm still kind of having a lot of issues. I gotta do some work on it still but what I did was I did the registry cleaner and I did this and ran through it and apparently I don't know why it works this is something I'm not really well knowledge about but apparently it fixed my issues and I didn't have any blue screens so I had an issue in the registry and it went through it and I corrected that so if you're having some blue screens of death with certain error messages I can't remember the exact error message that I had but when you get but go with this try this program it's free and run through it and see if that fixes it um, the disk tools are really nice. I did a intelligent defrag, which actually worked a lot better than any other defragging tool that I used, and it really sped up my hard drives because my hard drive was so fragmented, like it was really bad when I ran it. It still kind of is. I need to get a new hard drive in the first place, but it's honestly running a lot smoother now than it was before. Um, here's a shredder where you can just totally wipe the drive, get rid of all information, and just totally clean the crap out of it of a certain file, or if you just want to do your whole drive, you can. Disk wiper, you can do for free space. Um, I did this once, um, I went over it, and it's good to clean out your free space so you just don't have anything on there at all. So if anything shows up, you can just be like, okay, just get rid of all of it. So, because when you delete files, they don't always go away. They're still partially there in small fragments. So when you do a wipe over, it completely removes everything from that drive. So that is Slim Cleaner. Uh, it's free. I haven't really checked out the full version. Um, I might get it. Who knows? Um, but with the free, the free version, it runs really well and it does everything I need it to. So to the second program is one that a lot of people know about, CC Cleaner. This is also the free version and it does kind of the same things that Slim Cleaner does, but I use two different programs just for redundancy so I can run one through and run the other one through and make sure everything is good. Um, this does basically the same thing, you can go through the registry, you can do cleaner, there's some other tools, system restore, wipers. Um, this program works really well. Um, but when you are doing stuff like this, I like to be extra, extra careful because I'm kind of reckless when it comes to going on the internet. I'll just download crap on crap on crap, and that could be a reason why my computer fucks up. But that's just how I am because I'm always tinkering and doing all kinds of stuff, and I'm just downloading every little thing I can, and I can't get enough. So when um, I need to go over and check while my computer's running slow, this is what I go to. So this program has the basic thing. You can go through and clean application uh, cache and 
um, I don't even use this browser. I don't even use the Opera browser, but I have it in there. So um, you can also change some settings, delete cookies, uh, the tools. It has the same stuff in the registry cleaner. You can scan for issues and see if you have any issues. This program will most likely work just the same, but for some reason, Slim Cleaner worked better for me. Maybe I was using this wrong and I didn't do it the most proper way, but Slim Cleaner is my first choice. I would recommend getting both of them. They're both free. Run them both and see what goes on with it and see if that fixes any of your issues. Be sure to do a restart after you do everything. And after that, you should have a really clean computer it should be pretty decently clean um, other than that those are the two programs I use um, those are really good programs for troubleshooting if you have any like really slow movement or whatever and if any none of that works that's what my second video is gonna be about with you guys I'm gonna have a couple of programs that I recommend for virus protection and yes one of them is my favorite but it is paid you have to pay for it but it is an awesome one so we're going to be going over malware bytes and we're going to be going over just some of the other free security essential programs out there like windows defender which is already built in and all the different things that they can do and what is the best out there for you so thank you guys again for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. I'll leave the links in the description. If you have any other programs that you think work better, please leave a comment below and I'd love to check them out. Um, I'm still troubleshooting my PC a little bit because it still seems to be having some issues. So if I discover solutions for these issues, I will be sure to throw them out to you guys. So thank you guys again. Be sure to subscribe and have a wonderful day.